So for step 36, the rear body mount unit, well, we're pretty much doing the same thing as what we did in the last step, working on the front body mount unit. So we've got all these different pieces, the uh, ball arm pieces, etc. We got to put the ball uh, connectors on, etc. So there is the screws and the ball connectors that we need. And here are all of the parts that we need, including the long arm here, which is for the steering, which you can see in this second part, that's what we're going to have to do. Now you saw me use this tool to get these onto all the different pieces. I'm not going to do this on camera. If you want to see how I did this, go back to step 35 because it's a bit of a finicky process and I'll just c come back once we've got all of that done and then we can just put everything together for this step. So I'll go ahead and put all these bits on and we'll come back. So here are the arms. So like I said, I went ahead and screwed them on. Uh, again, a bit finicky, took a while. And if you want to see how these went on, you just go to the, the previous step, step 35. Now the difference was in, the, in step 35, the distance between the two ends was 11 and a half. For the rear, they're nine and a half millimeters, which is interesting. So those pieces are done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to getting the ball connectors onto this arm piece. Now, as you can see, um, just based on this, we need to put the ball connectors into this hole here. So I'm gonna line this up, make sure that's going in relatively level, which it is. So we're just gonna screw this all the way in. And again, because we're going into hard plastic, as soon as we get to the end, you're gonna know, you can't really over tighten this. It, there's nowhere for it to go. There we go, we're at the end. So same again on the other side. So turn this around and do the same thing. Check to make sure that's level. Yep, so we'll screw this all the way in. And there we go. And we're all the way to the end. So that's what it's going to look like here. So once that is done, it's showing you attaching all of this. So the, the right one, which I'll grab the right one from here, that's got to fit onto there. So grab the pliers, and I wonder if I can just go from, not really. I'm gonna do it this way. So if you take that ball connector from the side, there we go. There's one of them on. And if we're gonna grab the left, we're going to do the same thing and actually we'll do it this way there we go so there are the arms onto that piece so there we go and now we've got to work on this again so this is for the rear and you can see that in terms of the positioning you've got the arm kind of facing like that where it's this part is lower so you can see how that sits which means that on here that is going to sit just like that and you can see that it's going over that notch right there and it gets screwed down so Let's put our screw in there and we'll screw it into place. And again, the actual body mount posts are made of the soft plastic. So when you get to the end, you don't want to over tighten 
but do, do make sure that it's actually in there. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So again, in terms of the positioning, it should be like that and that going over top of that. So let's make sure that's going in. Grab another screw. And we'll screw that into place. And again, soft plastic. So as soon as I get near the end, do a bit of an extra tighten, but just make sure you don't strip it. So it is gonna look like that. So you can see in terms of the positioning, how that is on the rear and from the top, it looks like that. So next bit. So you can see that in terms of their diagram, it's looking like that. So we're gonna take this piece and you can see that the screws are gonna fit down there. So that one is right in the front. So I'm just gonna hold it down from this side, just so you can see that is going to fit right there. So, and in fact, I think I'm, the easiest way to do this to get it started is just leave it on the bench. Get that one in, grab the other one. Get that one started. So now they're both in just like that. And now I'll hold it this way and we'll screw it into place. Now this is hard plastic. So when we get to the end, you're gonna know. Cause you're not gonna be able to strip this out very easily. So you're, you'll know when you're at the end. There we go. So ultimately that is what the rear setup is going to look like when it's finished. So now for the second part, we've got this, which is the steering arm that will go from the servo. Now, I have done one side already, uh, and I decided to save it because I wanted to show you how I would do this. I use shock pliers because you can see they're showing you use a, a set of pliers. But I find that, you know, depending on how you're using that, how much pressure, you end up scraping up the shaft so I have this handy dandy pair of shock pliers I can go to the end this gives me a tremendous amount of leverage so that when I take this piece I can just push and spin at the same time and now I can just keep spinning this on now but here's one interesting thing. In the normal way, in every Tamiya kit, this is sort of what you'd have to do. You'd have to use your hand to really spin this on, and sometimes it would be, it would get tight, and it would be difficult to turn. Well, this piece that they've given us in the BT-01, and they probably have given it to us in the MB-01 too, means that I can use this to spin these on for any kit that I've got. These are perfect. So I'll be keeping this and putting it aside so I can use it on other kits because most all steering arms have these types of pieces. So might as well be use, putting that piece to good use and it'll help. So now you can see here, the distance needs to be 102 millimeters. Now, because I was showing you that, I did it too much. So I'm gonna turn, spin this backwards a bit because I need this longer. And you can see there, pretty much dialed in. The only thing is, look at the positioning of those arms. If that's facing down, the other one across from it needs to be facing down as well. So I'm just gonna turn this around and we're going to turn that so that it matches. There we go. Now it's matching on both sides. Put this down onto here. And we've got the 102. I might actually turn it out just a touch more if I just use both sides. 
Yeah, and that's that's a perfect match right there. So there is our steering arm, and there is our rear body mount unit. So that means that step 36 is complete. So we can move on to step 37, and we're going to attach the body mount units.